Today, I want to talk about grades. I want to talk about how we could or should use them, what they really mean, and maybe how they can hold us back. So as you probably know, most climbs are attached to a certain grade, which indicates the difficulty of a climb. Now, the problem with that is that people who grade a certain climb have a certain ability, they have a certain body shape, they have a certain climbing style. Um, but as you approach a certain problem with a certain grade, you might differ from that person who decided that grade. Which is why I really encourage you to use grades as a continuum or a spectrum. For example, you might approach a certain climb and that climb is called a V3. I encourage you that in your mind, you think, okay, if this is a V3, maybe it's actually something like a V2 to V4, more of a spectrum as you approach a certain climb. Now, grades can be very helpful in that they do indicate somewhat a relative difficulty. This is particularly important when it comes to safety, because as you approach a certain climb, let's say even in the gym or outside, it might be really good information to know how difficult a climb might be and what to expect, especially when you might fall off the climb. However, I also encourage you to not have grades hold you back from trying certain climbs. As I said, grades are just suggestions of a difficulty. And these suggestions are based on other people who have tried to decide as objectively as possible what the difficulty of this climb might be. Now this grading or the difficulty of the climb is essentially an opinion of one, two, or maybe a few other people. Now your opinion and your personal grade might be quite different. And that is really important to keep in mind. That also means that when you approach a climb, and let's say that is a grade that normally should be easy for you, but it feels very difficult, that is okay. Your personal grade for a certain climb may be different. And the other way around might be true too. There might be a climb that looks like, oh, you can do it, or that would inspire you to do it, would inspire you to try it, but it might be a grade that you've never climbed, so you might feel intimidated. But so what? I say, give it a try, as long as it's safe. I think safety is really important, which is how grades can help us initially when we approach climbs. But if you determine that your fall zone as you're falling and practicing this movement, if your fall zone is safe, then I think you should try any climb that sounds and looks exciting to you. And if you feel like that movement um, will be safe to you as well. So grades really are just a suggestion. They are somewhat of an indicator but they don't say much about your personal journey. You deciding to climb a problem, whether or not that's on ropes or a boulder, should be totally dependent on how excited you are, how safe it is for you, and whether or not you want to do it. 